Hmm. Huh? Oh! Roville put out a new update? They did put out a new update! And here's everything this update entails. We now have a plane ride pilot job for graduated players! You literally have to fly through hoops, and it starts paying you at a thousand per ride! New players can now select one of three starter houses in Roville. New players can choose from the cozy suburban, the humble abode, or the minimalistic household. We now have an outfit catalog and avatar editor! We can find user-made outfits and upload our own. Click the editor and select Outfit Catalog on the right. You can scroll through what's trending or the latest uploaded outfits. This is such a unique feature and I am in love with it! Once you select an outfit, you have the option to keep it as it is or change it up the way you like it. You can also copy outfit codes later or just save the outfit on the side. Whenever you want to upload an outfit, just select Upload and name your outfit like this. It will appear in the latest outfit category on the right. And if you want to show off any of your outfits to the community, definitely join our Discord and upload a screenshot of it with its code. We can now share party links to our parties for players to join directly. All you need to do is click party settings and copy the party's URL for players to join. I can see this being very useful once Roville becomes extremely popular. There's a new roof selection UI in build mode and it looks so clean. The devs added physical barriers to plots when setting plot entry permissions. At first, I was confused about this new feature and reached out to Discord for further explanation. Thank you so much, Layla Marie 521 for explaining this to me. This basically shows a blue force field around your property while in build mode. Also, in case one of your friends lets a stranger teleport to them while they're in your house. I never knew that this was a problem in Roville, but I'm so thankful that the devs fixed it. And hopefully one day those force fields will be clear because I will admit, that's one thing in Bloxburg that has always bothered me. We now have the ability to refresh aspirational tasks up to once a day. And before I show you the 27, that's right, 27 new furniture items in this update, I want to highlight two previous features that didn't get enough attention before, like the AI-powered NPCs that walk around the map. I knew we could talk to them, but I didn't realize they were AI-powered. This is an incredible feature that any game could include. And if you're ever bored in Roville, which rarely happens for most, you should definitely try talking to one of these AI-powered NPCs to generate a fun conversation. And here's one more previous feature that we never had a chance to mention. The ability to change save slots while in game. This has been a highly suggested feature and the devs finally added it. Now on to the new furniture items. We now have a full-sized Rokia bed, a fancy armchair, a generic office chair, a minimalistic bar stool, a provision chair, a vintage chair, a simplistic dining chair, a vintage television, a wall scone light, modern corner stairs, a mini safe, a decorational plate, a cooking pot, an open briefcase with a lot of money, a log stack, a minimalistic bar table, a classic nightstand, a center table, an abstract circular table, a fancy work desk, a reception desk, a one-legged table, a vintage table, a minimalistic wall TV cabinet, a minimalistic TV stand, a mini decorational plant, and a watering can. And that's it! You are now up to date with Roville's newest update. What do you think about this update? Is it everything you expected? What are you expecting in the next update? Let us know in the comments below. Please like and share this video with others. And don't forget, you can make money by inviting players too. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to continue on this journey in Roville with us. But until next time, bye.